Back with Bobby and JJ Radio. I actually know Bobby, so we got a lot better. We have uh, Mr. Alfredo Segura and Dr. Monica Villarreal and Jeffrey Flores. They are with New Frontiers Public Schools. Uh, they're actually second time offenders of Bobby and JJ Radio. They've came here before, didn't hate us, so they're back again. I want to say thanks for hanging out with us again. Um, for anyone that doesn't know, and I can start with you, Mr. Segura, tell us about New Frontiers Public School. Well, thank you very much uh, for having us out here. Uh, as you stated, this is our second time, so it's a joy being out here. So, yeah, yeah a little bit about New Frontiers Public Schools. So one of the, the, the quickest thing is that we're a local community-based school. Um, we are a free public charter school uh, district that serves kinder through high school, and we are located on the south side of San Antonio. We've been there since 1998. And we operate the Frank L. Mala Accelerated Collegiate Academy and the Frank L. Mala Early College High School. Um, our campuses operate under a college immersion model uh, where a student in every grade receives a collegiate experience. So talk about that a little bit more. So Absolutely. Uh, what's, what's, explain to people that have never heard it before, or like a college immersion. Absolutely. Well, you know, you've heard um, every school right now, when you talk about public education, everybody's preparing to go to college. Right. One of the unique factors about New Frontiers Public Schools is, especially at the high school, is that our kids are in college. So that's one of our biggest sell that while, um, again, schools are preparing, we are, our high schools are in college. To add that um, further, at the high school, we have a unique partnership with uh, ACCD, exclusively with Palo Alto uh, at the present moment. And when we mean about full immersion is that our students are on the campus of Palo Alto. So as you can imagine, um, they mix in just like a regular um, college student. Mm -hmm. So unless you can see their ID uh, that's pinned on them, you won't know whether they're high school or a college student. So they're actually taking classes at the uh, university? A at college. the college, right. yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, Mr. Flores, I heard you had a path uh, to and through college for do you have a pass, uh, offer pass to and through college for, these, for your students? What does that mean? So our students are able to start taking college courses as early as their freshman year of high school. So out the gate? Out, well, so the spring semester of freshman year. Wow. So in four years, we're putting six years of school in four years. They're graduating high school with a distinguished diploma as well as 60 college hours or an associate's degree. That's all at no cost. So we, the, with our partnership with New Frontiers Public Schools and, and Alamo Colleges and Palo Alto College, we pick up the cost of tuition, fees, books, everything. So we work within the elementary K-8 model, Dr. Uh, V's campus, in helping them get prepared. So when they come to us, they're, they're in that seamless model of when they come to us from, from kindergarten all the way up through high school, the, the ultimate goal is they have to finish off their degree. So they're leaving you all with some kind of a degree. So we, have, we had our first graduating class two years ago. The alumni come back and see us, they visit us. We will have this this coming up year, um, 19, 20 year olds graduating from A&M College Station, Arizona State University, uh, with zero debt, and and their undergraduate degree complete. It's at the age of 20, where most people are 22 or three or four. Yeah, so, so so they're leaving us at 18 years old, 17 years old. They're transferring into their university as juniors. Wow, and so these college credit offers they. Where do they transfer to, or is it anywhere? They're 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 Alamo colleges, oh, right? Um, so it would be like if they just, um, like I guess I'm a little older, but like Doogie Howser, how he ended high school early <laughs> and then he went to college yeah. first. So we just called it. We have a kid who just graduated with us. She could be 20 years old from an a and graduate in two years from A and M San Antonio with a teaching degree. No. And we were laughing with her, saying you could be a Doogie Howser of of, of yeah. teaching because you'd be 20 years old teaching. 16 and 17 Six, Like people that she could have gone to high school with. Yes. Wow. <laughs> so, JJ, one of the things, though, just to clarify, you mentioned that, um, you know, you can take those credits anywhere. Uh, just to be transparent on that. It's we're wherever Alamo College is. No, actually, we're talking about Texas. Of course. So, um, obviously, if you go out of state, there sure. might be some uh, difficulties on that. But if right. you're in Texas, you're good. Yeah, but there's a huge state with a lot of colleges and Absolutely. universities. I mean, that's a lot of places mm -hmm. to pick from. Absolutely. Now, I've, real quick, I've heard this, and you said, so this is all free. How How is this free to these kids? That's a good question for... Well, that's a... <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gouda. 
Well, first of all, one of the things that we do is we have a well-balanced budget. Um, it, it all starts there, right? So what we like to do is we like to make sure that um, when we look at our funding, which it is the majority from the state funds. Right. So we need to be very careful how we manage our operations. And so we run at a very, very trim uh, expenses. Sure. So we take a little bit from the bottom line to be able to um, pay for these colleges. I love it. And so at the end of the day, because you guys are running Lean and Mean, that's correct. Um, the students that are attending your school is that, I mean, because I think you talked about that one story of someone finishing a degree at the age of 20 without student loan debt is in itself amazing well i mean uh, un unheard of it's like right. an anomaly i don't mm -hmm. think you hear that a, a lot anywhere in our community or city or anything like that and if we're going to continue to say that you know education is the great equalizer we need to find the ways to be able to do that um free free yeah Absolutely. and and it's happening internally instead of asking for funds outside of the school itself uh we're gonna talk a lot more about this we're gonna take a quick break uh, for more information, you can check out uh, more information on New Frontiers Public School at New Frontiers, that's plural, public schools, plural.org.